here outside Dr. Nelson Mandela's Houghton home. We even have a special guest here with us that's come with quite a large group of people. I'll introduce my guest. Hi, how are you? Very good in yourself. Can you introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Matthew Booth. I'm with Bidvest uh, Wits Football Club and clearly we're here to, to pay tribute. Huh? You are here to pay tribute to Dada Nelson Mandela. I saw you guys laying some flowers earlier. Just tell me what is the thought process that's going through your mind and what did you say as you put that bouquet of flowers down? Yeah, look, it's a, it's a small uh, tribute, you know, for, for such a um, fantastic person, an icon in our, in our time, um, never to be replaced or replicated, I think. Um, and uh, as a person from the sporting industry, I think it's, it's important to pay tribute and be very, very grateful for what he did for us. Um, I don't think if it, if it wasn't for him and, and other struggle icons, I don't think we would be playing international football. Um, I wouldn't have had the family that I do have. Um, so I will be eternally grateful to the, to the great man. And I will certainly make sure that my children and their children remember um, you know, his part of, of his role in history. And Matthew, tell me, are you guys going to be making your way down to Pretoria? Um, we were there yesterday um, to play a friendly game and it's, it's, it's pretty chaotic. Uh, so I think uh, the better option was to come here. Uh, where it's a lot quieter. It's here where he spent a lot of his time. So um, it's equally important. I've been fortunate enough to have met him a couple of times. Tell us about that yeah. experience. Yeah, the first time was be leading up to the Olympics. Um, and um, there was a large crowd of athletes and I, I kind of just stuck my hand through the crowd and he, he kind of uh, grasped my hand and it was almost as if he was resting. And uh, he took my hand for quite some time. and. Uh, uh, I found that to be quite surreal. Um, on the other occasions, um, it was a, a meet and greet with the team, um, having some very, um, uh, you know, encouraging words. And you know that the, just when he walks into the room, there's that. You, yeah, you kind it's of, a you very kind of charismatic, awe. very yeah. charismatic man. His, his personality and uh, you know um, his dignity just uh, fills the room. And I think many people say the same thing. Did he say anything to you? Any words of wisdom? Um, yeah, I think I remember him asking me what uh, what position I played, and um, you know, obviously he was he was a, a boxer at heart, but he, he had um, the sports industry. He, he realized how valuable the sports industry was for this nation. Um, so he always, always had encouraging words for us, whether you you won or lost, um, whether you're a boxer or a gymnast or a football player, that you will equally as important. So you said you are leaving for um, the Eastern Cape this weekend. No, um, in fact, we've got a we've got a game in uh, KwaZulu Natal. Um, the PSL was obviously taking a break out of respect for for, for the man, um, and we resume on Monday in Peter Marisburg. Um, but of course, all roads lead to 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 Kunu um, on, on Sunday. And any soccer representatives at Kunu? I'm sure there will be. Yeah, but you yourself absolutely. personally no, won't be there. No, I'm sure um, that's uh, people from Safa will, will definitely be there. Um, and yep. We spoke to Kirsten Matandani earlier today. That must have been, it was quite an, an interesting experience that he came here and he laid a bouquet of white flowers. It was a very touching moment. Yeah, I know. There's been many touching moments um, during the week. Um, as you can hear in the background, I mean, just uh, people are torn between grief and, and celebration. Completely. And uh, it's, it's a bit difficult to know which emotion to, to have. It's kind of a roller coaster, uh, but certainly he will remain close in our hearts forever. Thank you so much, Matthew Booth. That was Matthew Booth, quite a legendary soccer player here in South Africa, paying his respects outside Dutta Nelson Mandela's Houghton home. In the background, you can hear the parliamentary choir making their way up from the house. They managed to have a, a chat with Grasa Michelle and sing her some beautiful songs. And now they're going to serenade the people that are here to pay tribute and homage outside Dutta Nelson Mandela's home. It's back to you, Ayanda, in the studio.